So, Juan, uh, where did the idea of Common Goal come from? Well, you know, thanks to football, I've been lucky enough to travel around the world and to be in a privileged position. So, when I was around 28, 27, 28, I wanted to do something to, to give back uh, to football. So, I was going to do my own foundation. But then I met Jurgen Gristik, which is the co founder of Common Goal, and they, they have been doing uh, or been using football for good for around 15 years to Speed Football World, which is the NGO that, that Common Goal works with. And, and I thought, okay, this is easier than creating my own foundation. I can do what I want, which is help through football. So I became ambassador of Street Football World. And then after a few more conversations, we came up with the idea of doing something different and really using the economic power of football to, to help. And we thought, okay, let's do something that it doesn't really affect each individual because it's only 1%. But as a team, we can really help. So we we tried to create a team of 11 to go out with, uh, but we didn't manage to. So I just threw myself into it. Uh, the same day, actually, that Neymar signed for PSG for a lot of money. Yeah, for a multi million transfer. So we had the idea of, okay, I'm showing what Common Goal is and we hope that many people is going to join and they will understand the idea and and it was like that. So we start having calls, messages and people really liking the idea of Common Goal and they were joining and here we are today, uh, not even two years of life and we have over 80 football players, managers and many more people joining with uh, businesses, clubs, the president of UEFA. So we have we're trying to create the biggest football club in, in the world and everyone can join. And it's been a, a short journey, but very busy, uh, very positive, and, and we are full of passion to, to keep going. And what role do you think that football can have overall to make a, a difference in society? Well, I haven't seen anything like football in society, like sports in general, like music also, but specifically like football. I've never seen anything that uh, creates that bond between people, that unites people, that uh, brings people together. So I think we really can use that, that power that football has in society to, to really help and to make the society a bit more balanced. I think it's probably the most powerful tool that we have to, to try to help. Matt, why did uh, Classic Football Shirts decide to open this? exhibition with Common Goal in Manchester? Um, we've worked with Common Goal and Clan a couple of times before and it's always worked very well. Um, we've raffled some shirts previously and raised quite a lot of money for the, uh, for the movement so we decided to put on an exhibition here um, with shirts from some of the key players that are involved and also sort of just raise awareness really. We've had like a lot of fans that come in and that will want to have a look um, and sort of see what it's all about really so people can, can come down take photos with the shirts um, and we'll also have the ability to donate as much as you can or as little as you can. Um, so yeah, it's really about coming down and just enjoying the shirts and, and seeing what it's about. So we'll be donating 1% uh, of the sales from the shop for the next two months. So uh, yeah, come down. Great. And Casey, uh, why did you get involved in the Common Goal movement? I'm, I'm a massive believer in that sport can be a vehicle for good, um, especially football. Uh, it, I think it speaks uh, worldwide. You, know, you, don't, you don't have to speak the language to, to watch football, and I think it can be used for good. And 1% of my salary doesn't seem a lot to me, but to someone else, it could make a life changing difference. Um, and I think the impact you can have around the world, you know, if, if there's 80 people involved now, you think about doubling that number and the impact that could have around the world on people that are less fortunate than us, have different circumstances than us. You know, I think for me, it, it's a no brainer, really. Yeah. And are there any particular supporting charities that are closer to your heart? I think for me, it, the gender equality one is one uh, because I've got two little girls and a little boy um, and I just want them to grow up with the same opportunities and in this country we, we don't think we've got equality and we've got a hell of a lot more than other countries where young girls have to face horrific things day in, day out just because they're little girls, you know, so if we can have a force for change in that, then it's something that's very close to my heart. Okay. 
And Matt, what's the future uh, for the collaboration between Common Goal and Classic Football Shirts? Um, so we're always looking to do new things and to, to do new things in different ways. So hopefully we'll be raffling another shirt if Wayne can sort us one out. Like another match <laughs> yeah. one. See what done me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next week. Okay. You know, yeah. Messi. Yeah. Um, and we'll be extending the exhibition to our London store as well, which will be open in the next month or two. Um, and as I said previously, people can come down uh, and we'll be leaving the ability to donate the next couple of months too. So yeah, hopefully we can raise good, some, some, some good money. And to you too, what's the future for Common Goal? Well, the future is, is to keep growing, to keep uh, bringing people to the, to the movement. And obviously what we're trying to create here is a standard in the professional football world, which is that 1% of, of the global benefit uh, from, in this case, European football goes to, to social causes. And I think that's achievable, that's possible, that will mean a lot for, for many people. And I think from our side, from professional football side, it's, it's needed something like that. You know, I think football for us is a sport where we win or lose, but for many people it's a way of living. And, and they live thanks to football and they, you know, they are raised and they have better conditions and better facilities thanks to sport. And, and particularly to, to football in many other countries. So for us is to keep growing, to keep welcoming everyone through the website, through, the, through your store, through whatever they want to to collaborate with Common Goal and keep growing, keep going with passion and keep trying to create this uh, biggest football club in the world in Common Goal. Sounds great. Thanks a lot. Nice talking to you all. Thank you.